Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fun game today. We're going to play ooh, 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 Backed ooh. or Bailing. This ooh. is where I'm going to tell you a list of players slash coaches. You're going to have to tell me if they're coming back, back. or if they're bailing. bailing. Dude, they're gone. You're starting off for Sean Payton. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we're doing this. <laughs> Thank goodness Sean Payton's gone, baby. As Falcons right. better rule that division if Tom Brady leaves. I'm and not first up. Tom Brady. Ooh, oh, we started off a spicy one. Easy. Right, Joe, we'll start with you, what then, brother. Saying? He's bailing. He's a bailing. Bailin? I was saying. I thought he was coming back, but then he did a podcast like yesterday, two days ago, where he was saying like, "Yeah, I want to keep playing, but you know, family comes first. And so he was just talking all about his family and stuff. So I think. That's I think also he's easy to Love say right away after you lose a playoff game. Yeah, you're right. But be, I was on the. I was saying he was coming back, but then I heard all this. It's I, not fair though, because if he comes back, Aaron Rodgers is going to go there, and he's not going to come to Pittsburgh. It's not fair. What that's what. That's you think he's going to go to Tampa? If Tom yeah, Brady why yeah. wouldn't he? Yeah, it's, it makes a lot of sense. He could. He yeah. could. But I think he's bailing. I'm like, dang. I'm like, it's close so, though. I'm like sixty forty. 40, so he here's stays, 60, why he's I think he's coming back. Okay. Because if Tom Brady's going to go out, huh? he's going to let people know so the spotlight is on him all season. But this could be why a would tease. he? This could be a a tease, tease for? Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about the like, like whole season while the season. Why not say it in the okay. beginning of the next off season? This is it. This is your last ride. So now. All eyes, all spotlight, all media. Yeah. Not that he really wants that yeah. stuff. I mean, it's more publicity it's for him like for his for his afterlife, for his after NFL career. <laughs> his afterlife. You said I just yeah. like. Yeah. Can you imagine Tom Brady just retiring? Because I it would think, be marketed as like the last ride, the last. Like nobody yeah. like truly yeah. was talking or considering him retiring oh. because he this thought, season. Dude, at the end of all these post seasons, though, he's always like just immediately talking about next season. Yeah, this season he's like. I'm saying he's coming back. Well, it's weird because, like, just before this season, he's talking about how he wants to play until he's 50. So it's like mm -hmm. nobody even thought that. I think Giselle this was like, was Tom, month. you're quitting or I'm leaving you. <laughs> yeah. She's the moneymaker. So, Not TJ, good. what are you thinking? Uh, I just got to go back to what Joe said. He said he was 60 that he's bailing and 40 that he's coming back. Yeah, so it's more likely that he's bailing. Oh, so you. Oh, okay. So you think he's bailing. I thought you said it the other way around. Didn't no. make any sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, thought <laughs> that tripped you up. <laughs> I'm like 50% he's bailing, 50% he's coming back. Dude, <laughs> crap. I have no idea. I, I haven't followed up anything with Brady after the postseason. After Thanks the for loss. giving your insight for people <laughs> that are also 50 50 that want to just know. So I'm just going to go with the fact that he's coming back, but okay. he's also a 40, what, he'll be 45, 46 next season. So, like, only. <laughs> I, It'd be cool I, if he went I to the 49ers. Yeah. It oh, takes he, Jimmy G's no <laughs> or how a trail is. Or I know, no when head. he turns forty nine, he plays for the 49ers. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Like that's where he wanted to go. Yeah, um, but they didn't want him, so he doesn't want to go there anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep this one short and sweet. I think he's coming back. I don't know. I feel like he just wants to hype everything up, but especially with the Makes whole era. Uh, what, what was that Hulu commercial where he was just standing out black and white, looking at the stadium or something like that? Remember that? Nope. No, it was for the Super Bowl. You, you were probably at the Super Bowl, but it was a commercial, and he was oh, like walking was, out to the yeah, stadium. Yeah, you remember that? About. That was whenever. Everyone was like, "Oh, he's gonna go to a new team." Yeah, that's whenever he's on the yeah. pit. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna do something yeah. like that again. Whenever he was with New England. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. he's gonna do something like that again. Ooh. But <laughs> spicy. <laughs> it's the yeah. But did we see Tom Brady's son was throwing up gang signs at the stadium? Really? Yeah. Gang signs. Gang signs. What kind of gang signs? Oh. Is that All a right, gang so sign? All right. So either that's gang that is oh. a sign that Look. he's leading towards getting in a game or yeah. gang, got, or is that like a Jackson Mahomes type deal? Oh, he has one kid that's like fourteen. I think I think that's a fourteen. Is he playing ball? He watches our videos. Does he really? I don't know. That'd be sick, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he probably does. No, no, look, Tom Brady are. got his first taunting penalty in his career against the Rams that game. So, yeah. like, he's, what? Oh, he's his done. first ever? Yeah, he was like wow. fighting with the ref whenever mm -hmm. he was bleeding. They actually, they actually penalized yeah. him. Yeah. So I think I after th that, direct correlation with him retiring. You he's know what's gone. really 100%. Yeah, that's why he's retiring. He's like, you know, the refs aren't on my side yeah. anymore. I'm getting out. I don't want to stay on Tom Brady too much, but they literally, uh, he went on, I forget who it was, but he went on the some Nelk podcast, probably. No. No. Maybe. No. No. No, no. no. He went on Stop. some sports podcast, and they basically said how he never gets any, like, uh, uh, penalties, penalties, yeah, taunting penalties, yeah, penalties, or anything, yeah, anything or like that. Unsportsmanlike. Yeah. Was this before or after penalties. he got that penalty? This was after, like before. He before. went on before, and, and then, then he, he got, got the one penalty. this week. So nah, that was that's funny. funny. Nah. Maybe they were like, "Hey, you got to, you got to do it at least one time." <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. All right, next up, another hot topic: Aaron Rodgers. Is he going back to Green Bay or is he bailing? Dude? So this is interesting because he does have one year left. 
He does he have a so, Yeah, okay. So that's why I originally. That's, that's why that makes this that makes this I think, interesting. Man. I think that sets up for a good trade, though. That's why I think he's not coming back. Oh, I think man. he's bailing. I think they get something good for him. Like, I mean, it's Aaron Rodgers. So you mean back in Green Bay? He doesn't necessarily have to retire, right? No, back in, or, or is he bailing from the NFL? Is he back in the NFL with Green Bay? Or is I, he bailing, going to a different I mean, team? Or Matt tired? LaFour came no, out agree. saying, like, we want him back. Yeah. Which they have to. I mean, Green Bay, come on. Like, of course they want him back. Of course they want him back. Yeah. And also saying that, like, if they say we want to get rid of him now, teams know that they're going to be able to offer less. So if you say you want him back, then you're going to hopefully be able to get more. Yeah. 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 I think he's bailing for sure. So it's good for Green Bay that he still has a year left on the contract, which yeah. means that they could actually get draft capital or players yeah. like I said, back. He's 39 now, so it's not like you can be like, let's wait till that contract's up because right. like four. Like you need him now. Mm -hmm. If you want him, you need right. him right yeah. now. And and I feel like in the short term, they they know that he's going to be gone. If he has to yeah. somehow stick around for a year, which you who even knows, like he could hold out for yeah. all we know. Yeah, I mean, because uh, there's been so much kid. displeasure with him. Yeah. In Green at that Bay. point, he's going to retire. He's not going to hold out. Well, he'll give them the threat at least of retirement. Tiring. And then, do you want him, whose whole legacy has been in Green Bay, to end on such a bad note like that? Yeah, yeah. Probably not. So you, I feel like they would have to. He could at that point, like once the, but like real quick, sorry, like if he threatens with a holdout, now that's like now you're getting a lot less. So to make a yeah. trade before he would threaten that is really important. I yeah. could see him doing what Brett Favre did, where he retired and then, like a year or two later, he comes back and plays for a couple couple uh seasons well like brett Favre didn't come back to green bay though no i know that's what i'm saying uh -oh. like oh. He, he retired like he went to like the jets went to the vikings right. and then retired back what did he i think he retired back with the packers he did he i, I thought know. he retired no, i think he yeah it was the vikings i think well the jets was his last team the know. jets was his, or no the vikings was like was the vikings i could see him doing something okay. like that though but I think he's gonna get traded. Okay. I think so you're saying bail and he's gone i think well man see i don't know i thought he has a year left it's Oh, yeah, he's so, bailing. He's not so are we all bailing with this one? Yeah. yeah. Are you bailing? Uh, yeah. I think he bailing. I, I don't think he's, he's, he's going to retire, but hey, I think we we just got to... It's just <laughs> fun to think about. I, th I oh, Honestly, man. if he's going to a new team, I do see him going to Pittsburgh, but... Oh, how much, awesome. how much do you have to give up? How much... What's the trade? What do you got to do? We'll give him a um, question. That's Juju. Like, that's a like right now? Is, there, is he worth a first round? Right now, I mean? what is it? Because Back-to-back -back MVP, like his trade. I mean, we'll give him a bunch of backups. They can have a bunch of backups. I mean, I it's definitely. Awesome. I mean, it's probably two first-round picks. I don't know if I want to do that. I said, do we, it, the no? Steelers even want to do that. I don't yeah. Yeah. To have Aaron Rodgers for so. like, say, three, four years? I don't think they so. They better. I mean, we got some salary cap, dude. What? They. You think he put that long? Yeah. I say, right. he is 39. We'll see it how it goes, but they better use that salary cap, get some good offensive linemen in there. Yeah. If he's, get, if he's getting pumbled around, he he's ain't lasting. Mm -hmm. He ain't lasting that long. Right. I mean, you got to think, so say if they give up two first round oh, picks. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I, so, I, would but, be, I would be excited, but this, back of my mind, I'd well, be like, man. I mean, think, you think about it this way. All these teams that miss on quarterbacks in the first round, it yeah, happens all the time. If they missed on one one year, that's already one wasted pick on whenever yeah. we could have had Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, no. For sure. I know. But we'll never know. And like, I mean, the Steelers don't draft the greatest all the time. Yeah. No, Devin Bush, You could have Edmonds. that next Aaron Rodgers. You could have that next Josh Allen, yeah, Patrick Mahomes in the draft, though. Yeah. It, I mean, like, it's a guessing game. It's hey, a guessing my game. front runner, if Tom Brady's out, Aaron Rodgers is going to Tampa Bay. Yep. I don't see there's any way I'm not <laughs> going that. to Tampa Bay. Yep. I, really don't, I, don't, know. Know. I don't want that either. Again, Chris Godwin's a free agent the now. The number will be open. So we'll see how many people are going to stay around. If he does come, there, people are probably going to yeah. want to yeah. stay. But. Exactly. All right, well, this leads perfectly into our next one, which is Devontae Adams, the receiver right Devontae. now on the Green Bay Packers. Is Devontae Adams leaving, or is he yeah. staying? It depends. If Aaron Rodgers stays, he'll stay. That's what, what he's it? waiting it's on. Balin or what? What's the other one? It's it's uh, uh, oh, uh, back or Balin. BB. Back or Balin. He's, he's back. back. He's back, Back baby. in Green Bay. Even if Aaron Rodgers is gone. He You're doesn't have a choice. Is this is, I mean, because yeah, so right now he's the, like, I saw it was like a top 50 free agents and he's number one. Of so course like, he's number one, but here's the problem. They could free agent, they could franchise tag. So him. he has no choice if they Dude, do that. Man, well, it's either that or he's going to have to hold out and cause like a huge problem. I, Devontae Adams, yeah. have to, like, is that how the franchise tag works? You have no choice. You can't just be a free agent. Like yeah. they franchise tag him. Yeah. He has to, no matter what. I mean, that's that yeah. technically. Yeah. I mean, what, but like season? we for like one full season and then out. they have a chance to franchise tag him on second year. Levy on Bell's butt. Yeah. So they did well, with Bell. Okay. Levy on Bell got franchise tag I think twice. So yeah, so yeah. but so Kirk Cousins, he's another one that got franchise so tag. So the a bunch second of year franchise tag you get paid um the average of the top 5 players in the NFL yeah. like mm -hmm. all positions. So it's pretty much all quarterbacks so he'd be getting paid so much money. Yeah. Normally teams don't do that unless if it is a quarterback. Yeah. Um but I, 
I like after seeing Devonte Adams in the media, I don't think he's somebody that would hold out. You don't think so? If no. He doesn't have Aaron Rodgers. Ooh, I think I he would. Think he, he would be so displeasured for sure. But I feel like that would be all behind the scenes. I could see him playing. Like I could see him requesting a trade. The thing is, dude, his stats can go way it. down if Aaron yeah. Rodgers is out of there. I mean, true. Then again, like I feel like down. people it's would know about, that. Though. It's all about his relationship with Jordan Love. I think also because I mean, Jordan. If Aaron Rodgers leaves, Jordan Love's getting a chance. There's no doubt about that. They're not going to draft yeah. anybody. They're going to give him a chance. So it all depends, I guess, how he feels about Jordan Love. I would assume. So what are you saying, Balin? If Aaron Rodgers is gone, well, I don't, well, I guess he has no choice but to stay there. Yeah. So I mean, well, then again, they, they, they have to make that decision to franchise tag, tag him yeah. over anybody else on their team. Which I and I mean, like, works. there's always there's always consequences of doing stuff like oh, yeah. that. I guess I'll I mean, say staying because because here's I'll the thing too. Like, let's say Aaron Rodgers leaves, then you franchise tag Devontae Adams. He's not happy. That's two of the greatest Packers to ever do it. That have bad blood with the Packers organization. Like, do you want that? Yeah. Like, for, especially for later down the line, you see all these players that come back to the field for all these recognition things, and that gets fans yeah. back in the doors. I can't see them not franchise tagging them. Then, I can't. Act, right. I mean, the only thing you could say is that they're in after Rodgers is gone, they're in rebuilding mode. So re-signing Devontae Adams to to make them have a better record would it make sense because you they would want to get better draft picks at that point. Yeah. But then again, they also need Jordan Love to do good, yeah. and having Devonte Adams there will help that. Yeah. So yeah. I think he's getting a franchise tag. Yeah, he's, I'll, he's I'll back or bailing, TJ. I think. Oh, uh, I think. I think they're gonna find somehow to get a trade done, and that would mean bailing. But like you said, it with the franchise tag, he has no option. But I'm gonna go bail him. I'm trying to think of a time where a player got franchise tagged and traded. Like back to back. Because why would you fran- why would you waste your franchise tag on that? Yeah. You, so you do to waste your franchise value, tag, but if they're not going to re-sign otherwise, then you're getting you you're get pretty much you trading your trade. franchise yeah. tags for draft picks yeah. or other players. So you're saying just to secure it, basically, just so right. that way it's like there's no. I right. mean, they can hold out, but no team can. Right. Okay. I, I mean, they'll you. get compensation picks for losing Rodgers or Devonta Adams. At, what's that like third round? Yeah. At best, I believe. Yeah, I think. That's yeah, crazy. Always, I mean, look what we got for Le'Veon Bell. Nothing. Antonio Brown. Nothing. Like, it's a great player. Well, yeah, we got the best that we could get. I yeah, believe it's yeah, a third round. Like, or that sucks. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah best people in the game, and we get nothing. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's just yeah. terrible. Next up, we got a fun one. We're going to go to the coaching side. We're going to talk Woo! about Pete Carroll over there Petey. in Seattle. Is he back, or is he bailing on them Seahawks? I think he's back for one more year. I think he's back for one more year. Okay. Yep. Bailing. <laughs> bailing. He gone. This is one. He said he gone. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I'll say he's staying. I'm he's more. Staying? I'm leaning more towards he stays. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think he's bailing? Just seeing what Sean Payton's doing yeah. after he knows that there's not much hope left. So there's a rumor that Sean Payton stepped away from the Saints organization to take a head coaching job with the Cowboys. Well, that's what I was thinking too. I'm not convinced <laughs> he's retiring. I'm not convinced he's nuts. retiring. I'm That'd not be crazy. That. That'd be I think he's going to come yeah. back and coach. So I'm not. That's a heck of a move. Yep. That's a heck of a yeah. move. I'm not convinced. Yeah. He's, that's a smart move. I'm not oh, convinced yeah. he's gone. Heck yeah. Yeah. Pete Carroll being the oldest coach in the league also. And, and I, I'm trying to think where he could potentially go that would benefit him, and there's not a lot of options out I there. I think he would just leave. I mean, I could see him maybe like GM or something like that or offensive quarter, coordinator like Coughlin did. Yeah. Well, he was D coordinator, though. But I could genuinely see him doing some sort of talk show thing. Yeah, maybe working with ESPN maybe, or working with you know maybe. one of those. I guess he's going back to college, or like announcing. So I mean, like, I mean, yeah, it's that's not like, an even thing too. Yeah, it's not like he's college. super old or anything, no. but I mean, you don't want to work yeah, for your there. entire life, he's you know. Exactly. So well, like, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Which, I don't know. He's a smart guy, you know. I mean, I just don't know if he wants to yeah. rebuild because that's what Seattle's going to go through. Well, that's the thing. He'd have to rebuild. All, like Sean Payton, yeah, same yeah. thing. All these coaches. That's what he didn't want to do it. Saints are seventeen million dollars or seventy two seventy two million dollars over the cap. Yeah, yeah, they're in a terrible situation. How do you even man. do that? They are in a and they don't situation. have anybody. That's the crazy thing. part about That's that is the salary dude. cap goes up almost every yeah. single year, minus yeah. the one COVID. They've year. been in a bad salary position for years. I know every season, dude, their salary situation is like, not good. Here's like, the thing: How is that? First off, how is that? Allowed to spend that much more That's on all of your players? Yeah, they don't even have any. Like, who are they paid? Who's who's getting Taysom money Hill. over there? Taysom Hill got they that did huge pay Taysom contract. Hill up a lot. Kamara and and if he is officially the number one starting quarterback this season, he's going to have to get paid. He's going to get more. more. He's going to get more. Yeah. 
I don't know. So, Michael Thomas, did he, have, did he get a contract? Uh, he might have. I mean, Elden you know Kamara Cam Jordan's get, getting paid a lot. Lattimore is getting paid. Yeah. I Elden mean, Kamara, I'm sure he's getting something. I feel like it's oh, really yeah, top-heavy on those guys. Lattimore. But, yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah. So, like, so there was an issue a year or two ago with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Whenever they won the Cup, mm-hmm. they were they pulled yep. off, like, a salary cap finesse where yep. like an, an there's an injured player or something yep. like that. And they so were what like, they did, what you do is you have all of your best players injured so that way, it's like something with the cap space. The cap and space they, goes way down. They come and back. They come back for the playoffs. And it doesn't which count is the only against. Important thing. Exactly. It doesn't count against the cap, and then yep. they end up winning. Yep. Which that caused controversy. Yep. Which I, again, I think that's genius because again, you're playing the books. But like, that's yeah. not really that. But that's yeah. That, that's. It's just confusing how you can be that much over the salary cap and still be allowed to. That's play. what I'm saying. So they have to cut a bunch of people. Yeah. Like, you would think. I don't. I don't get it. Like this they, should, be they a bunch should of have to. They right? should be penalized in some sort of way, or, or penalized, yeah. or have to restructure contracts. Yeah. Because what's stopping like another great team that already that has like right. a bunch of yeah. contract problems to sign Aaron Rodgers for as much money yep. as they want to? Exactly. Sign them both. Sign Aaron Rodgers and get Devontae. Yeah, uh, get everybody. <laughs> get, the, get the whole yeah, Pro Bowl I, roster. That doesn't make know? sense. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get that either. I don't get that either. So what did you say, TJ? You said he's back. This is for Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll. Uh, yeah, so he's back from over here. You think he's back? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, this will yeah. lead into the next one, which is Russell Wilson. Mm. Is he back or is he bailing? Mm. Dude, he's been so quiet ever yeah. since this season yep. ended. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. bit, he's he been hasn't said <laughs> anything. I just imagine him in like a chamber, just like laying there, just like thinking about everything that's <laughs> happened, like where he's gonna go. Oh man, I, I think honestly he's say I say he's bailing. Yeah, yeah I think he's bailing. He's a guy that wouldn't say. I feel like he is a guy that wouldn't say but much. I feel like he's kind of like he, I. He did say that he was unhappy though. He said that quite a few times. Oh, but I feel like he's been what? He's been in Seattle his whole entire career, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like he's like he's been the their Seattle heart and soul. franchise person, to be honest. He's been like their heart and soul for like yeah. so long. So he definitely has an ongoing contract right now, right? It's yeah. I, he would have to. I would assume. I so. I look at him kind of like n- not like Big Ben, but like how Big Ben was like the heart and soul of the Steelers. Like I look, he's like the heart and soul of the Seahawks. Oh well, like, yeah, oh, yeah, no doubt. Imagine. Ever since the Legion of Boom left, yeah, he's been really yeah. the, the heart and soul. I th- this is a very tough one for me too. I don't know. That's why I want to say he's bailing just like how bad they played and like yeah. So we seen a couple years ago whenever Baker Mayfield got drafted and that Cleveland wanted to trade Baker Mayfield for Russell Wilson. Yeah. And one of the two teams wouldn't do. It. I guess the Seahawks wouldn't do it, or or it was vice versa. The they offered the Russ. They I think the Seahawks offered Russ for Baker, who was the number one overall pick that year, and I believe the Browns when turned was that? it down. I don't remember Baker's rookie year, I believe. What year was, was that? Was it before he was drafted or after? I feel like that was in Russell. I think it was prime. right after he was drafted. It was Russell Wilson wow. was like prime. That's crazy. And, and I, it might have been right after Baker's first year where wow. he showed quite a bit of promise. Yeah. And the Browns turned it down because he didn't even start his first year until like a few weeks in. Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, started. he didn't start until the end of the season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that was all that they needed to see. Wow. And so like. Was that because there was displeasure from Russell Wilson at that time? Which was, I mean, that was years ago at yeah. this point. Yeah. I want to think. I mean, he's going to have to get traded for a boatload. And we know teams would trade a boatload for a good quarterback like that. I mean, yeah, that's, again, it's it's like, do you risk doing wow. a higher round draft pick to see if a quarterback could potentially work out? Or are you going to take one that you know is going to work well, out? I'm going to say. I'm going to switch mine. I'm going to say he's back. I'm, I'm going to say he's back, back also. Yeah. Yeah. Which is same with Balin. I don't think he's going to be there. I just think it's going to cost a team too much. And if Pete Carroll leaves, maybe he could have a say in what head coach comes in, which could get him excited and want him to stick around. Yeah. Brian Flores, maybe. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, yeah, honestly. Sean Sean (laughs) Payne. Yeah. (laughs) He does have good talent around him on the offensive side. He does. And yeah. they struggled a lot, but he did have a, a hand injury, a finger injury, which could have played in. There was a lot of underperforming, but. So I have I have one of my own. Marshawn Lynch, he comes back out of retirement to play with him, or bailing. He's bailing for a bag of Skittles. I think. <laughs> That's awesome. That would All right, be awesome. Last one up. It's a bit of a fun one. It's a little controversial one. Oh, Baker Mayfield. Mm. Is he back? Big ben for a second, or is he bailing? Like. Baker Mayfield. Oh, that is back. a good one. That's he's a very back. good one. Because with that shoulder, I kept saying Kirk Cousins was they're going to do a trade for yeah. Kirk Cousins. But now that Aaron Rodgers, if he does leave. Minnesota needs to do what they can to keep Kirk Cousins because that division is crap. Yeah, that's open. Yeah, that's open. I don't know. I think they draft the quarterback. I think I think they trade with the Broncos, get a first round pick, and they draft the quarterback. Vikings. Yeah. Oh, the Vikings. I'm talking about the Browns. Uh, No, no. Baker. I think with the shoulder, 
I don't know if people would necessarily want Baker. The thing is, he didn't have the greatest season. And again, right. that could go down to the shoulder. But yeah. he, he, I mean, he was banged up. He even said exactly. he was, his yeah. whole body was just destroyed all season. I'm just wondering if Cleveland's like, crap, now we're not really going to get what we would for him if, let's say, we traded him last year. They don't like Baker. So that's they don't. Why I think right. he's going. One of the fans chanting, like, oh, Baker, the fans fire him. The fact that they even started him at the end of the season when he was, like, dead still blows my mind. The so, thing is, and they played him in the last. I know that's what I mean. It makes no with sense with a hurt shoulder. It seems like they don't care. It does. That, yeah, that is very like Case true. Keeman is a telling. good back, like a good enough backup. Like, yeah. I, and their and season was matter. over. Their season, exactly. Yeah. So that's the, the fact that they even played him. I just, like, I mean, it's a weird situation for Baker. He's on his fifth year option. Yep, they're gonna have to pay him. Um, the, but the Browns haven't had a good quarterback in twenty five years. Nope. They haven't had anybody capable, anybody even on his level, whether he's been disappointing or whatnot. Yeah, no. Do you think that maybe excites them? Because hey, Aaron Rodgers might be up for trade. Hey, Russell Wilson might be up for trade. They have a decent amount to trade with. Let's say Baker Mayfield and even you know, if they send another player over there. Maybe yeah, like I mean that that's definitely it. a quarterback that yeah. could get traded. Exactly. I feel like teams like good organizations feel like they could do something with Baker Mayfield. Yeah, for sure. I feel like the trades, it would be tough to pull the trade off for, though. So I'm going to say he's back in he's Cleveland back. for one more year on a prove it. Like, yeah, he's prove back. It you got to do really good to get paid. Well, it's either, yeah, you get paid oh, or. Man. I think he's bailing. He's, he's back. I don't think they're going to pay him, dude. Yeah. I don't. So, like, they're not going to pay him, but they they would have him this upcoming year on not much money. It yeah. wouldn't cost him an arm and a leg because he's still under his rookie contract, yeah. technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe yeah. the fifth year you do get paid quite a bit more, but. It's not like well, franchise also, quarterback money, though. Because he, he was the first-round pick, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Number one, so yeah. That's also another. You I get more money Odell for that. Odell is like doing not amazing, but I mean he's doing decent in L.A. That doesn't look good on Baker's part. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Especially because they threw that all on Baker. <laughs> yeah, I know. And Odell's like <laughs> a third option on that team. So it's just. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I think he's gone. I don't, I don't what back. do you think? Back. I think they need to get him more help. Whoever's there. Yeah. They need another wide receiver. Hey, it's the Browns. They got to draft the wide receiver. Yeah, and I mean, I get they have the option they to do good. it. They have a decent Their pick. defense is good. Yeah, I hate to say it, Calvin Ridley. Man, I feel like if Tom Brady leaves, which is a long shot, I feel like Calvin Ridley would definitely want to come back. That's, I mean, why would you not want to compete for the number one decision see in that division? There's so uh, many how much do you think he cares happen? about that? I don't know. I feel like he cares. I I feel like that's why he. Didn't I want to know why back. he wants out. I agree. Or he'll kick you in the nuts and when Godwin leaves, go and sign with Tampa Bay and just replace Godwin. Yep. Depends. We'll see. Because, again, like I said, he's still – we'd have to trade him. Or, like I said, it, he's still on the contract. So he can't just – he's not a free agent. He can't just leave. Yeah. Uh, he could sit out, of course, which would hurt us. But, like, mm. I, we'd have to make something happen for him to leave. Yeah. Ladies and gents, so. this is just a preview of what you're going to get in the off season. Uh, Don't think oh that yeah. once the Super Bowl is over, we're done here. No. Well, the off season might be one of the most wild off seasons that is going to ever it's happen. It's going to be. So we're here to talk about everything. Don't you click away. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. This was Are They Back or Are They Bailing? We'll see you Maybe. in the next one. Hey, give us some recommendations of more players we should talk about who's back or bailing. I like this. This is great. Peace.